Let's now talk to the chairman, media and publicity of the party's national convention and governor of Nasarawa State, Abdullah Sule, who joins us live from Arabuja studio. Thank you for joining us, Your Excellency. Uh, the APC is running behind schedule, particularly with the screening exercise, which is expected to be followed with appeals. What's the op update with that um, exercise as we speak? And when will there be room for appeals now that it's just a few days to the convention? There won't even be any appeal. There won't be any appeal in the sense that um, our first choice is actually to have a, a consensus, you know, and uh, as you know, this evening, just about two hours ago, we had a meeting with uh, Mr. President, with all the governors, and that was the topic of discussion. Then uh, there is also going to be another meeting with all the aspirants that the, His, His Excellency Mr. President is having in the next uh, uh, couple of minutes, actually, at 8 o'clock. And we are hoping that by the time that meeting is held, then as far as the national chairmanship position, which is the one that is uh, uh, creating a lot of areas for concern, you know, that one will be resolved this evening. And so the question of appeal may not even come up. But should it come, you know, we still have tomorrow and we have also uh, Friday to be able to do that. You're sounding like the president has settled for a consensus candidate for the party's uh, national chairman. Is that its case, particularly with the meeting you had with him earlier today? The meeting the leadership of the party had with Mr. President is looking more towards uh, having a consensus candidate. And if you look at it, it won't be something new in the sense that, you know, that's how Akande came in by consensus, that's how Oyegun came in by consensus, and that's how Oshimole also came in by consensus. So having a uh, chairmanship position by consensus is really not anything new. It is in line with uh, uh, the practice of uh, APC. A consensus arrangement would mean that every other interested party is agreeing to a, you know, the decision made by the leadership of the party. What happens if there is no consensus? I mean, I'm talking about the agreement within the other aspirants. What happens next? Well, as I said, by the time Mr. President uh, has meeting with all the chairmen this evening, we are hoping that we cannot, we, we won't even get to that level. As you know, discussions have been going on for a very long time, and within the uh, aspirants have also been having their various meetings. You know, a lot of aspirants have gotten together and they were having their meetings. And we are hoping that by the time that Mr. President meets with them today, and then finally the party also meets with uh, some of the aspirants tomorrow, you know, then it is going to be a uh, consensus. Before the, pro uh, before the meeting with the president, APC governors have also been meeting, and you were quoted to have said that um, all the governors who had different understanding of the convention are now together. Does this include the governors who expressed displeasure with the leadership change or particularly who had issues with um, the individual who now currently chairs the APC Ketika Committee? The, the answer is yes. Uh, if you look at the outcome of the meeting with Mr. President today in the villa, we had all those people you are talking about. And we have all gotten together to understand that uh, the party is stronger than anybody. Uh, and for that reason, there is no need, you know, because of one interest or the other, to continue to disagree. So at the meeting today, nearly everybody was there. And I tell some of the people you have in mind, if you look at the uh, press conference we had, you know, after the meeting with Ms. Mr. President, you will see them there. And this same question you asked was also asked, you know, and it was answered in that direction, you know, that we are all on one page right now. The APC is moving into its national convention with a baggage of, um, you know, un unresolved issues from wards and state congresses. What's the assurance you have about um, your preparation and indeed how things will turn out after Saturday? Well, as you, I don't know wh what you mean by all these issues, because after the congresses, you know, we had uh, an opportunity, you know, to to visit and resolve uh, most of those issues. We had appeal committees, 
and the appeal committees went together and discussed with uh, uh, a lot of other aspirants and brought people together. You know, but if you are concerned about maybe some of the usual political uh, issues where some people uh, actually went to court and then they are still in court or things like that, that's a different thing and that is actually in every political party. It's not only APC and it's very difficult to eliminate all those. At the national level, if you remember, a reconciliation committee was even set up, you know, to go around the country and, and look at all these issues and resolve them. You know, but those issues are not issues that uh, have much to do with the convention because convention will still uh, take place. We can't say that we must have a problem-free political party before we have a convention. What are your expectations at the national convention of the party this weekend? I strongly believe we are going to come out stronger uh, as we have already started showing right now. Uh, APC has one advantage that I think a lot of other political parties don't have. You know, uh, nearly everyone that you talk to in APC has so much respect for Mr. President, so we have leadership. You know, you cannot say the same about the other political parties. We have a situation where both the followers, you know, the leaders of the party and all the major stakeholders respect the leadership of the party being led by Mr. President. You know, so uh, uh, for that reason, I have no doubt in my mind that we are going to come at a much stronger political party. Governor Abdullah Suleis, the chairman, media and publicity of the APC's national convention. Uh, thank you for talking to us tonight.